Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you a new case that Wicked Aluminum sent me. This one in front of me right now is the Flirt case. I've been using it for well over a year. It is amazing. You don't need a fan. It has passive cooling built in. The case is aluminum and it touches the CPU. So the heat is dispersed through the case. I've never had a problem overheating even when overclocked. I've never had trouble with Bluetooth signal or Wi-Fi signal. Wicked Aluminum sent me this bad boy right here. And it's milled out of aircraft aluminum, a solid block. So I'm gonna be installing a Raspberry Pi 3 inside of here. I have run tests on the Flirt case just yesterday. What I did was I ran a stress test. I stressed out the CPU, all four cores and eight threads running Raspbian for 20 minutes straight. I'm gonna do the same with the Wicked Aluminum case and see which one comes out on top. The case is 65 bucks. It is expensive. The Flirt case can be gotten for like $21, but this guy is beautiful. One of the cool features in this one, it actually touches the CPU, the ethernet chip, and on the bottom, it also makes contact with another chip. So let's go ahead and install a Raspberry Pi inside of here. I'm actually gonna be using the same exact Pi that I tested in the Flirt case. So I'm gonna take it out of here, place it into the Wicket aluminum case, and then we'll run some tests. So I clean all the chips on this Raspberry Pi 3 with alcohol, just to clean them up a little bit. So we have an Allen key, our four screws, some rubber feet and some thermal compound. Now this is just white compound. You could use some Arctic silver, but I'm going to be using the stuff that came with it. Now you don't need a lot of this stuff. It should press on there very nicely. When we put the pie down, so that should be plenty there. Let me make sure I'm putting this in the correct way. And that is not the correct way. There we are. So we'll set the pie down. Now we're going to take this. Put a little more over here. Now it actually seems like this is blocking me, my display port. There we go. I just lifted it up. So there we have it. All ports are accessible and it looks really good. Now, if you need a GPIO cable or a GPIO ribbon, you can order one and it comes right out of the side there. The SD card might not be very accessible unless you use a little screwdriver or something. What I'm going to do is try this SD card, see if we can get it in and out easily, which we will not be able to. So what I've done on my flirt case is add a piece of tape here to my SD cards. That way I can pull it in and out. Very simple. You see that little piece of tape there? So let's go ahead and test this thing out. Let's see how well it does cool the Raspberry Pi 3. All right, guys, so this video is about passive cooling. I completely understand that you can get a cheap Chinese case and a cheap Chinese fan and keep your Pi cool at the same time. What I want to focus on is passive cooling, which means no fan. We're using the full case as a heat sink. So what I did was I ran the flirt case and I have a stress test that I set up. We run 20 minutes, fully maxed out, all four cores, all eight threads for 20 minutes straight, creates a log in my logs folder. We get 40 temperature readings in 20 minutes. The highest the flirt case went was 65.5 degrees Celsius. Now the room is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. 
I'll map those out later in a little chart at the end of this. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is paste in my log script, paste, run, copy, paste. When I hit enter, CPU will go to 100%. We're going to do this for 20 minutes. Our log is created and you should see this scroll down. Let's just let it sit and see which one comes out on top. There is a lot more aluminum here in the Wicked Aluminum case. And real quick, we are at 1.2 gigahertz. This is not overclocked. If you guys want to see an overclocked video, just let me know and I'll go to 1.35 is the highest I can get my pies. Okay, wow. This kept it really cool. The max temperature we reached was 46.2 degrees Celsius. Now I'm using the same SD card, the same power supply. The Pi is even sitting in the same spot. The temperature in the room is the same. So this is a pretty fair test here. Now maxing this out for 20 minutes straight is an extreme test. While gaming with RetroPie or something like that, you can expect lower temps than this. Let's just go and take a peek at this log file here. And I'm going to rename it real quick. And this will be Wicked. So here's the Flurk. And we'll put that over here. And here's the Wicked. It started off at a lower temperature. And I'm guessing this aluminum here just has better cooling properties than the Flirt case itself. 46.2 degrees Celsius, 20 minutes maxed out, four cores, eight threads. That's ridiculous. The flirt case, 65.5 degrees at the max. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to convert some of these numbers over to Fahrenheit. We're just going to take the lowest, some mid numbers, and the highest number here. And I'll make a little chart for you guys. I'll be right back. So here we are guys, the Wicked Aluminum case is over here on the left hand side. We have the Flirt on the right. I converted some of these numbers to Fahrenheit. It's easier for me to just look at Fahrenheit and say, wow, that's way cooler. Starting off, we were much cooler out of the box. I mean, just starting the unit. I let both of these units warm up for 10 to 11 minutes, just sitting idle. The Flirt case went up very fast. We still didn't hit a thermal throttle with the flirt case, and I never have, but looking at the numbers of this Wicked Aluminum case, it cools it much better. Now the room temperature was the same. I used the same SD card, same power supply. In the end, the Wicked Aluminum case came in 34.74 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the flirt case. This was a 20 minute test, maxed out all cores and all threads. So if you're gaming, you'll probably never hit these temperatures anyway with the Wicked Aluminum case or even the Flirt case. 19.3 degrees Celsius cooler with the Wicked Aluminum case. Now it is more expensive. It looks really, really good. It's really up to you guys. You could always just get an eBay heatsink, an eBay case, and a fan and keep it pretty cool. I just wanted to do this comparison because Wicked Aluminum sent me this case to do a review on. And yes, it keeps your pie very cool. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll leave a link to their website down below so you can go check this case out if you want to get one. I don't make any on it. They just sent me one for review. It's totally up to you guys. And like always, thanks for watching.